Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Wednesday, March the 17th. And no, I'm not going to say Happy St. Patrick's Day because I don't celebrate it. I'm not telling you not to, but I don't. Okay, it's 9.41 a.m. Just for a little side note, luck comes from Lucifer. Okay, so... I don't even like to use the word luck. You hear a lot of that on St. Patrick's Day, you know, about four leaf clovers or lucky, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow business. It's just ridiculous. Anyway, it's another Roman Catholic Church holiday. I will move on. I'm going to share with you Don's newsletter from March the 14th that I've been hanging on to. The Trumpet by Bill Burns. You can do this. You are called as my children to reap the benefits that I have set forth in my word. For it will be given to those who abide in my kingdom. That sounds right out of Psalm 91, doesn't it? Which will manifest in your life in a fresh way. From this point on, make a determination that you can be what I have called you to be. You can do what I have said you can do. You can come higher into the realm of the Spirit and be more effective. You can see my power move in your life which will cause your life to become inspired. Your journey into belief can be exciting and the glory of the kingdom will be demonstrated. Now that sounds exciting. The things we have to look forward to, just know this, Jesus is saying, you can do it. All right. The next one is a short one from Marsha, Small Straws by Marsha Burns. Remember who you are. Never forget, I'm adding this, never forget who you are in Christ. Okay? I do not speak of external conditions. I speak of the depth of your being. You are solid and strong as you stand on the rock foundation of the spirit. You are more than a conqueror and victorious in all things. Do not settle for less than who you are in me. Now I can hear some already thinking, oh, I'm not very victorious. Everything I pray for, I don't get. And are you praying correctly? Are you praying for worldly things? A job, a car, more money. Which, yes, in this world, we have to have money to live. I get that. But why do you want the money? Is it all just for rent and bills and food? And what kind of food? Pray that the Lord's will be done in whatever you receive and how he chooses to give it to you. Okay, and that was me adding that part. Her part ended with, do not settle for less than who you are in me. You are a child of the Most High God. And don't ever forget it. If you are, did you give your heart to the Lord? Have you been living for Him? Have you been praying to Him? Worshiping Him? Doing things for others as if you were doing them for Jesus? If so, you're a child of the Most High God. Obey His commands 
read his word. If you haven't already, read that New Testament because that's what we are to live by. The rest is good for prophecy that has not come to pass or a double prophecy. It may have come to pass once, but is going to come to pass again. Like the exodus, the children leaving, the plagues that are coming are in the seals. Um, it's just amazing how much of the Old Testament is prophecy been revealed and will be yet to be revealed again. It will be revealed. It will be done again. Okay, moving on. Her her scripture for this is Romans 8, 37. Yet in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. And that should say loves us. I don't know what version that is. She didn't put it. Thought she used NASB, but anyway, it should say loves us. We are more, yet in all these things, we are more than conquer through him who loves us. He did love us. He loved us so much that he went to the cross for us. But his love didn't stop there. He loves us now. All right, this next one is from a lady I don't think I've ever heard of. I may have, but it's been a while. Her name is Judy Reynolds, and it's called My Chosen Ones Seek Me Now. And why this was put in now, I don't know, unless Judy felt led to send this to Dawn. Okay, because she received it May 23rd, 2019. Okay, called My Chosen Ones, Seek Me Now. You might think, well, if I'm a chosen one, am I not seeking him already? I mean, don't try not to have that kind of attitude. Believe me, I've been there thinking stuff like that. You know, but then when you humble yourself and realize we can seek him in so much more, always be seeking him, okay? And what more we can get from him in the line of gifts, more discernment, more wisdom, more of his Holy Spirit. The gift of speaking in tongues, praying in tongues. The speaking in tongues in an open church area is another gift where you stand up and you sound out the message in tongues and somebody else or yourself will stand up and speak the meaning, what it means. Okay, that's those are two different gifts than praying in tongues. You think you don't need it, but you really do because there's so many things. We're commanded to pray for the saints, for instance. All the saints. How are you going to pray for all the saints? You don't know who the saints are. You're just going to say, Dear Lord, I pray for all the saints in the world. I plead the blood of Jesus over them, and I pray you keep them safe. In your name I pray. Well, you might could pray that until you get to pray in the Spirit. But it's so, such a blessing if you can get that gift. And you can if you seek for it. All right, let's move on. Here is the message from Judy Reynolds. My chosen ones with pure vessels. The time has now come. The storm is now upon you. Know that what my hand brings and the enemy bringeth shall be made clear to you as a rainbow in the midst of the storm and your firm hope as the rainbow after the storm. It is time to now shut your doors, which in parentheses they put, 
influence of the world. Shut your doors from the influence of the world and close your windows in parentheses influence of friends and family. How many of you let friends and family tell you what to do, what to believe, what to take or not to take? You see? Okay, influence of friends and family, close parentheses, and seek me. I say, take heed to this warning. All of you are going through storms now, yet now you must take time alone with me. Hours of time. Now I got to thinking, okay, some of a lot of us are disabled. We could do that. But Lord, what about your children that love you and are first fruit, you know, uh, believers that you have chosen? And they have to work and have children and they may homeschool and they have to cook and this and that. The Lord knows your heart. He knows what you can do and not. And besides that, you can pray through the day while you're working, while you're homeschooling. You can say a little prayer. Lord, help me teach this algebra because I don't remember it really good. You know what I'm saying? Or really well. Or it could even be grammar. Maybe you weren't good at it or you're older and you don't remember it so much. So, you know... Usually homeschoolers get a, a teacher's homeschooler, uh, the teacher's version and the student's version. And you may have to study at night so you can teach them that the next day. I understand. I know the Lord does. So you give him what you can. He understands the times we're living in. He understands the need to work. He also understands when you choose to watch television instead of speaking to him or to play games instead of speaking with him. You see, you take what's left over and you give it to him and you give him time at the very start of your day before you get, you know, if you have to get up a half hour earlier, then do that. All right, let me move on in this message. I desire to give each of you personal instructions. General instructions are now a thing of the past. Think about that. He wants to tell each of us our own personal instructions. That was weird. It's like there was a flash in my computer, like, like lightning. Just real quick. I must instruct you now for each of your lives and those lives which are or will be affected by your testimony of me. You must quiet yourselves now and spend time with me for this purpose. I will be giving much wisdom, direction, guidance, and prayers for you to pray for you and your direct loved ones and friends. Wow. Oh, Lord, give me that. Give me that, Lord. I need that wisdom and direction and guidance. Tell me how to pray for my loved ones. I am knows all things. Do not think it strange how I ask you to pray for them. Simply seek confirmation of me and then obey and pray. Lives depend upon your words now, my children. Okay, I think this is a typo. It says, ah, and all heaven. I think it's supposed to be yah. Y-A-H. It's 
So I'm going to say it as Yah. And all heaven shall have no restrictions to bless my children and all those that desire to be saved. Miracles upon miracles you shall witness. And then you shall be with me. Do this now. Pray. Do not wait. Your all-encompassing, miracle-working God, the Father of life, the great I Am has spoken. Scripture given was Matthew 5, 8 and Luke 4, 9 through 12. Then she says, I understood that we would really know the difference between what God was doing and what the enemy was doing. And this would be such a blessing just to know. Like the rainbow. Blessings to you. That's one. I didn't want to not share it. But please leave your comments. Please. If you... If you have questions, if you're not sure, I can confer with the team and ask them, what does this mean? What does that mean? If I'm not sure. But this. Okay, I'm going to end this one here. Um, you might want to listen to it a few times. Anyway. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over each and every one of us and our devices and our internet connections. And with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.